Oh yeah, back in the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter podcast. I've just opened YouTube here and it's it's got Hey Doggy on it, which uh, it's got Hey Doggy. Now, of all the things that I could click on that that one, they'd probably come after you and sue you for that one. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the General Banter podcast, guys. It is Tuesday the 29th of June, um, we do have two sponsors, you know what they are, Manscaped.com, the world's leading scrotal shaver. They've been on board with this podcast for a while because they know their demographic, hairy fucking gross dudes. Listen to that, no offence guys, big kisses, you know, but that's the type of people listen to this podcast, they're like, we know the demographic, there's dudes out here here hitting the streets when this lockdown is over and they want to do so with a shaved ball bag and cock and the thing about people listening to this podcast me included is you shave your cock and balls and it's just one bald triangle in a just infinite plane of pubes is what I've noticed so I'm walking around there with the fucking pristine pipe and the shiny nuggets but the rest of it hairy but, you know, you can take it anywhere. You can take it for a detour. I could I could literally, at the bottom of my leg, start shaving. Shave up. Up my leg. Across my dick. Up my belly. Up my chest. Up my neck. And like that. And it would just leave a bald track the whole way. There's no break in the hair the whole the whole time. Anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. If you listen to this podcast and you want to get money off, 20%, in fact, it's uh, manscaped.com. Use the code GenBand1. Get yourself 20% off. They've got a range of products. Ball toner. Ball deodorant. If you got those fucking salt and vinegar testes. You know? Those balsamic nuts. And you get... You, <laughs> you get that and you fucking rub it all around there. And it smells like a rich, wealthy man. Touch them. And uh, yeah, that's it. Manscaped.com. Forward slash... Or is it the code GenBant1? Use, use the code GenBant1 at the checkout. And get 20% off. And then our other sponsor, Beer52.com, they're new on board. Uh, again, it's coming into the summer, man, and they're designing these boxes of beer to uh, for these warm, balmy summer evenings. And what you do there is you go on and you use the code BANTER, and you pay $5.99 for delivery, and your first box of beer is on the house. On the house. Um, and they send you out just like, is it eight beers? Did you get it? Ten. Ten beers they send you out. Ten beers. What you fuck up to? Unbelievable, isn't it? Class. And then after that, they charge, you know, whatever, £78. And then they send you eight every month. And you get the sample load. It's a fun way to drink. You know, you're like, is this going to be good or is it going to be gross? But that, that's the fun of it. It's Russian roulette with your liver. <laughs> um, so yeah, beer52.com Pay the delivery, get it free Get the first box free And these are craft beers Sourced from all over the place All over the world in fact They'll pull one out of Berlin Be like, here's a fucking raspberry and oatmeal stout And you're like Too many flavours man But you're hammered And it's all good So yeah, use the code banter Get the first box free Cheers for coming on board guys What you fuck up to? We'll do a podcast. We'll do a podcast. The General Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis. We're back. Uh, it's it's Tuesday. It's been a fucking crazy week. The the boom is back. We're back gigging. Um, we've had a busy old week of it. We had the Limelight Show last week. Uh, we had a show in a brewery. Oh, I cannot say that word. No. Brewery. 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 Uh, shout out to Bullhouse Brewery, who, uh, Br- Bullhouse Brew Co, who had us down and uh, they had all their stuff in place from a beer tasting and they were like, hey, do you want to do a gig here? And I was like, sure. And then I made up a ticket link and I sold some tickets. And then I invited way too, too many comedians to come down and perform at it. But uh, it was class, wasn't it? Great. Great times. Loved it. Let's have Niall's one word review. How was it? Loved it. Uh, That's two words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, but yeah, it was fucking, it was interesting. You know, we new scenarios. You go down there 
uh, seen all the comedians haven't seen in a while. People like Ronan Linsky. Shout out Ronan Linsky. He's funny. He is funny. He looks like George Best about two years after he retired. Um, <laughs> and the, two years after he died. He, you know, you know I'm, when I see Ronan, I like speaking to him. We're not, we're not good mates. You know, we're not texting each other all the time. But through the world of comedy, I get to see someone like that and I go, how you doing, man? Fucking yeah. Now, that guy was on to me. Swift. Because I felt like he was going, oh, you're doing a, you know, he's like all about it. You know, he's like, oh, you're doing a cr- thing in a, in a brewery that does weird IPAs. Can I get on? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, you find out about this fairly quickly for a man who quite literally has a Blackberry. He does. Like talk about, people are like, you know, these hipsters and you're like, yeah, but they're still, you know, they're still living in this day and age. They've got an iPhone, you know what I mean? They're fucking... They're hipster, but they're like, you know, they're so, you know, they're like, I rode my one wheel to a candle making class. <laughs> That's the type of guys you get. But none of them are hardcore like that guy. You know, he's like fucking, he's got a Blackberry. And I was like, does that even work? And he's like, yeah, I can't get the QR codes on the table or anything. And I was like, That's insane. Imagine walking in somewhere and being like, could you have a charger for a Blackberry? <laughs> like there would be people working in a shop that would have not even have known the, what a fucking Blackberry was. They're just like, what the fuck are you did? Guy's a Blackberry. And then it made me remember about, uh, you know, my Blackberry day. Did you ever have a Blackberry? I didn't, no. No? No. Skip it out. Give us your afford it. Give us your BB. <laughs> really? <laughs> give Can't. us your, I remember getting like, like a bit of a hand-me-down Blackberry and then I remember like being able to choose a Blackberry out of place. And I was like, man, I'm getting on the contract. Give me that fucking... Because you got the one with the wee nipple in the middle, and then it changed yep. to like a sort of flat button. And I was like, bro, who am I? Pharrell? I was fucking feeling myself, man. Three songs on it. Fucking three Libertine songs, probably. But uh, anyway, we're getting way off point here. The gig was class. Um, and sure enough, you know, I said, you got to watch these craft beers. Some people were fucking caught out. Some people were coming in there on a hot day. And they were, uh, you know, they were they were drinking, and they were drinking hard, and they weren't realizing that some of them were about the strength of wine. Yeah. And they were like, "I'm having a pint of this." And there's a couple of people. Don't want to call anyone out, but it's okay. It's okay. I probably would have been the same. A few people bashing off a few walls. You know what I mean? Just bouncing off walls, <laughs> falling off tables, stuff like that. A few people with a few dirty knees. You oh. know. <laughs> uh, not in a sexual way and then shout out to that wood fire pizza place do you eat any, any of that yeah they give me pizzas free and then the second ones i was like can i get four pizzas because i was taking them home for for everyone in the in the bang bus there on the way home and i was like can i get four pizzas and they were gonna give me them for free and i was like let me pay for them oh and they were like no nah, sure you're working today i was like yeah but i've had eight <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, I'm not taking eight pizzas for nothing. Yeah, but it costs like fucking 10p to make them. Yeah, but I'm sound, man. You <laughs> know what I mean? I'm fucking sound. True. I should have went, put it in your pocket, love. You know what I mean? <laughs> put it in your pocket, get yourself some... What does he say in that movie? Get yourself some makeup. <laughs> Departed. <laughs> Is it Departed? He just gives the bar... Like at the oh, start, yeah. gives the wee bar girl like a thing. He's like, buy yourself some makeup. Class. That's my Jack Nicholson impression. Is he in that? Yeah. Yeah. He is, yeah. I, saw, I love that film. Yeah, I saw a great clip of uh, Jack Nicholson, and you know, like the pops were the paparazzi were after him, and he's like walking along, and they're like, "Hey, fucking, uh, what was it? What, what did he say?" Oh yeah, it was like he was carrying like bags of Christmas gifts. He's like, "What do you want for Christmas?" He goes, "For you to drop dead." <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking savage! He is hilarious. He's a bad motherfucker. Like, for you to drop dead. <laughs> it was so quick it looked like he'd rehearsed it it was brilliant <clears throat> and then f- he's fuck paparazzis man what a pile of cunts they're just chasing people down like hey what's wrong man are you pissed off that I'm following you and you're like yes you fucking rot I would be you know, people are like oh my Kanye lost his mind and smashed a reporter's camera I'd be in prison <laughs> today shit comedian Colin Geddes turned a guy upside down and f- spiked his head into the ground so hard that he died up next <laughs> I would just be I would just be like listen it's a it's a occupational hazard for you to be in my garden you know and just be firing rounds off at them 
I mean, that's the new, that's my new obsession. I told you about that. Where I'm watching fucking POV hunting. Oh yeah. Where just people have cameras in the scope of the gun, and then they're just like taking out coyotes and stuff, and the coyotes like you know, walking about the place, and then just. <laughs> <laughs> so quick <laughs> they're just like fucking oh, I'm just having a bit of a lunch here bah! no head anymore <laughs> they just fall over you know and that's right when I ejaculate we've got way off top we went through Blackberry's craft beer to uh, bestiality and Jack Nicholson um, it, we're, it's 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 vintage podcast time yeah boy we've we've done it all very quickly but yeah it's great to be back gigging um, straight away I realised like there. are there's no there's no role for alcohol in doing stand up really because as soon as I had one pint I was like oh my god what am I doing I have no control over any of this but uh, managed to hold it together I think but yeah what a great day and then yesterday yeah, did a pile of drinking Sunday and then yesterday um, you know the baby like I've said this before the baby does not know that you're hungover it, it doesn't give a shit so it's up He's up fucking ready to party. And uh, we did that thing where you're like, we can either lounge about the house all day doing tag team naps or we just go somewhere. And uh, we went to Banger. And I don't know how that happened. We came to Belfast and then the baby fell asleep and then we just, we couldn't get food from the place we wanted to get food and we just kept going and going. And they were like, oh shit, we're in Banger now. And uh, yeah, it's a fun place to take the kids. Uh, it's good. I, saw, I witnessed uh, the most. I seen this guy do a thing, and I was like, "That is one hundred percent just da, just da moves." We're walking around that wee picky fucking park area in Bangor, and at the back end of it, there's like mini golf, and this guy's there with like three younger kids and his and his wife, <laughs> and he, the kids were all eh, shouting and daddy and blah, blah. and he took the he took the shot, the putt, the joint. Like this, and he missed, and he went, "Ah, you fucking twat," <laughs> <laughs> which is just such pure, unadulterated da. I loved it. I'm out with the kids. <laughs> Sun's out. Had a lovely picnic. Went for a bit of mini golf. Ah, fucking stupid twat. <laughs> I fucked it up. But uh, yeah, and then we hear this. We get back to the car. Co- now, th- this is the fucking nightmare about having a toddler. They lose their shit so hard that you just have to abandon all the plans that you had. And Eddie just, he's just like, every everything he does sounds like he's doing a one rep max on a deadlift. <laughs> if, he, if, he, if you go to lift him and he didn't want to be lifted or you're trying to move him and he's like, <laughs> you're like, just go over, <laughs> go to pick him up. <laughs> like, I'm like, you're going to hurt yourself, fucking, this is the baby's going to be, going to have piles, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> So he kicks up. We got. I used to I used to laugh at people who had their baby on a on a leash thing, but you can, you need one because you're either bent over holding them by the back, or you get the little leash thing and they can run around and you know you can time the alarm post when you're in in the shop and stuff. But uh, so he's fucking running, and then it was getting a bit windy and stuff, and he's like, right, we gotta go. Uh, he needs fed and stuff. Go to lift him, and then just he just freaked out the whole way back to the car. Just had to pick, wouldn't go in the pram. Just had to pick him up and carry him like a bag of sand. Got him to the car. You know, they had a tin of some shit, and I set it on the roof. Put him in the driver's seat, and we're like trying to give him wee snacks or whatever. And he's still freaking out. We're like, right, he missed his nap. We gotta, we just gotta go. The day's over. There's a lot of that. Like the day just, like you're having fun. We're done. We're done. We're going. And uh, we get in the car. Drive off, and I hear this like noise, and and I went, what the fuck was that? It sounded like metal, like I drove over something metal or something. I was like, what the hell's that? And then I were driving along, and I was like, oh fuck more, and I left a can of seven up on the roof, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it had already fallen off. And then we got like halfway around Bangor, and I turned the corner, and it went kink and fell off, and I went, oh my god, it stayed on the whole time, <laughs> it stayed on the whole fucking time, and. Uh, <laughs> We're like driving back, and of course Eddie falls asleep immediately, like straight away. I was just like, I'm fucking knackered now. And we're like, for fuck's sake. Driving along, and I was like, let's go to the I was trying to think, where can you sit outside and have a drink or whatever? Um, or a bit of food or something. I was like, what about the dirty duck in Hollywood? Oh. I've been there with Shane Todd, of course. Walked in, he's got his own table. 
and they're like, hey, can we get you all the beige food? And he's like, please. Um, <laughs> can I get chips? And he says, can I get the chips with no dairy? It's potatoes. <laughs> you fucking princeling. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I can't wait to go to London with him. It's going to be fuck, so annoying. Hey, yeah, can I get a glass of water with no milk in it? Um, <laughs> but I don't know what that voice is. But, uh, oh, yeah. So we pull up at the fucking the Dirty Duck. I managed to get a car parking space, which is miraculous, in the Jeep. And I walk around the back of the car, and I open the boot, and I just said to Maureen, Maureen, you didn't lift the pram, did you? And she went, oh, fuck. Oh, and we no. just got right back in the car and drove the fucking banger again. Oh. I was heartbroken. The last time I felt that sort of fucking, like, heartbreak was when we didn't record the Liam McCourt podcast. <laughs> I just I just opened the thing and went the fucking pram which is about the same value as the car <laughs> it's like it's <laughs> sitting in the fucking and then I was like do you know what I seen two other prams that were like up against the fence that, with no one around them I was like the place is filled with kids and prams and I can't imagine anyone stealing your pram and we drove the whole way back to Bangor and pulled in and sure enough it was just lying there nice and we just put it in the car and drove out off again. God. Boring. The work just, like, you set off on a day off and you're like, oh, I'm just going to fuck about here and go for a bit of lunch. And then you end up eating some sort of trash and then just drive for like fucking five hours. <laughs> I was like, this is a night. I got, you know, get home and I was just absolutely exhausted. I was like, fuck, I have two podcasts to do. My fuck, I can't be arsed. Jesus Christ. And then more, and then in the, in the delirium of, uh, just lying in bed last night, like Maureen started laughing her head off. And she goes, Can you imagine what it looked like if you were watching us? For us to wheel the baby up, take him out, put him in the car, you set a <laughs> tin on the roof, and then he's screaming, getting him in the seat, and then you drive away with the fucking tin on the roof, and the thing's just lying there. And then you turn the corner and it falls onto the floor. And they're just like, What? And then, even, even like worse, we went back. And I pulled up and I went, oh, it's still there. And I just had to stop the car and get out. And they just walk over and lift. Like, you feel so guilty. I was, like, so shifty looking around. I hope no one sees me take my own fucking pram here. Just lifted it. Put it in the car. And Maureen's joking around. Like, you know, she, I mean, she's been hanging around, around with me too long. She's like, stop stealing that pram. And you know, we're joking. But uh, <laughs> fuck me, depressing. And then, obviously, I'd left my car here over the weekend. So I had to come back here, grab the other car drive home by myself and I swear to God at that point when she drove off I was like I might just go to sleep in the office for like three or four hours I'm done nice I'm checked out fuck me but talk about despair you know you think you're going into the pub to maybe get like a wee a wee hair of the dog whatever some chips <laughs> scampi and then you're like no gotta go back to Bangor gonna kill myself what a fucking nightmare. Did you not get food? With a hangover to... No. Oh, we, we did that thing where you kept driving and we're like, right, we're here now, right, we're in Belfast, right, it's four o'clock, it's going to be busy. You know, right, you know, it just kept knocking on to the point where we just went home and I, was, I just went to the shop and bought some bullshit. Oh. And that was, I was fucking... It was wank. Although we did have a... You know, we were in French Village in the morning. Got a wee... Uh, what was it? Pork and Chipotle sausage roll. 20 pound. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's how much weight I put on <laughs> after eating it. Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, fucking hell. Just, just, no, for six hours straight, I was just thinking I should have stayed at home. We should have stayed at home. It would have been a lot easier than this. With also like a fucking seven out of ten hangover from all the fucking IPAs. Oh dear. Nightmare. Fucking nightmare. Um, but yeah, that's that was my time's. What else have, oh yeah, we, we also have, um, by the way, if you're on the Patreon, guys, if you're not on the Patreon, get over on the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Jennifer Bader Podcast. What have we got coming now? We've got... Lots. We've got the watch review. Watch review, With yeah. Nico from Pride and Pinion. A lot, of, a lot of people know that I'm into sort of mid-range, not expensive watches. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people were like, man, you should do a review of your watches almost perfect timing we did a podcast with Nico from Pride and Pinion and he reviewed all my watches which Niall edited and it's sweet as fuck 
Took uh, 10 years. Took 10 years. <laughs> uh, and he's £150 an hour, so it's all good. <laughs> um, so that's going to go up. No, that's going to go out public. And then the page. No, wait a minute. The podcast that we did with Nico, we're going to put that in the little bracket of our SummerSlam. So we're going to do six or seven podcasts and just dump them all out, much like the 12 podcasts of Christmas. We're going to dump them all on the Patreon and sort of one a day for a week. Yes. And that's going to hopefully get people over on the old Patreon. The podcast was great as well. Great podcast. It was very good. Very funny. It'll give people a bit of an... I, Me too. I like trying to figure out about why people would be enticed to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on watches. Very interesting. Interesting. Um, what else... We're gonna do. We're recording a yeah. We're recording more of those podcasts. We have gigs recorded. Yeah, we have uh, our gig there from the brewery, which I imagine we can do some backstage. Oh, st- stuff. A little clip of each comedian. Yeah, if, if they're, and that'll be for those who missed it or want to go to another one. Um, so in the next while, it's gonna be busy, busy. Uh, there's a whole lot, there's a whole lot of cool shit. Me and Shane are doing a gig in London. Uh, what the fuck else is happening? Oh, by the way, I could nearly throw you the image of this. You can throw it up. <laughs> We're at 22 minutes. Uh, we could throw up the old... Um, the image for the, the gigs that are happening. Um, at Voodoo, I'm doing a work in progress show. Let's see, 7.30 p.m. Whip. Please. Doing the whip show. <clears throat> that means I'm going to turn up with... A notebook and just a whole pile of new shit and just wade through it for you guys but it'll be fun because you know there's a psychological thing where you go you know i've been say say when i lived in glasgow you would go to a comedy night and you're like right this is a weekend i'm paying 15 quid this better be good <clears throat> and that's when they pull like the big guns you know you'll fucking kevin bridges dropping in and all this shit but if you go on a tuesday it's red raw you're in that mindset of this is going to be a lot of people who are amateur comedians. And then it's a lot more forgiving. And then when someone says something actually funny, you're like, oh, fantastic. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> Same with these shows. You know that I'm going in there with some shit that is rough as a badger's taint. But hopefully, you know, I've had enough comedy experience where, you know, you know, you watch, you watch this podcast, you're like, I know him. You know, I know what he's trying to do here. I know he said the end bomb twice, <laughs> but he's just trying to get to the punch. You know what I mean? It's, but it will be fun. And uh, there's there on the 5th, 6th, and 8th of August, uh, which is a weird thing. To, <laughs> 5th, 6th, not the 7th, 8th, and not the 7th because I have to go to my sister's 30th. And that might be a spoiler alert, but I don't think she listens. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, so that's it. All good. Um, ran into Niles Ma the other day. Yeehaw. Went for a walk. Uh, again, another one of these days where we set <laughs> off driving. And we're like, we'll go here. And then we'll go, oh, shit, we're near O'Donuts. Let's go for a coffee. Uh, which is usually straight up 10 out of 10. Went the other day. No, but I did say it was an 8. An 8? I don't know. Never again. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Lift that container and get it into the fucking sea. <laughs> Shut it down. Guys, it was, yeah, it was straight up 10, but, you know, we, we dipped down to an 8 there. I don't know what happened. I t- and I was hungover, but it was like, mm, don't know. That's when you need it the most. True. And Maureen was like, that's just because you drank a load of stuff. I was like, I'm, I'm more sensitive now. What did Maureen think? She's like, it's okay. And I was like, you don't fuck your uneducated palate. <laughs> fuck out of my life. Uh, so, we, uh, we, yeah, we, went, we ended up in Newcastle. Yep. Murloc. Is that how you say it? Murloc. Murloc. Um, and we did the walk, as usual. Eddie did the fucking one rep max. <laughs> Halfway down the beach. In a, yeah, he was wearing a pair of brand new New Balance that I bought him. Which, no joke, same price as the adult ones. Class. And uh, he looked cool, but then he just sprints towards the sea and doesn't know when to stop and will just ply on in there. And... Uh, Fuck the shoes up, wrecked the place, and then we're like, right, we gotta go. And then 
we did the me and Maury did the old tag team like you go to the toilet and I'll fucking come back and then you go for coffees and do a piss and mm, all that shit. Everything's a fucking maneuver when you got a baby and uh, there's a wee coffee shop there in the in the car park. Maureen goes up and I could see like you know her body language was like what? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know doing that thing. Yeah, fucking blah 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 and fucking shook someone's hand through this glass window. <laughs> And then uh, Maureen ran back to the car and she was like, flipping Niall's mummy's over there. <laughs> and I went, no way. <laughs> uh, and then by the, now, now I know why you're so outgoing and friendly. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're a mom. But yeah, she's lovely. But um, I take, I was like, would it have even crossed your mind to go, oh, my mum might be there? <laughs> 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 I know. She was a, a like a teacher for twenty five years. Oh right, so, so she has that sort of a teacher thing. Yeah, she was very good with Eddie, who was not. You know, he's strange about everybody, and she got him some ice cream, and he was still eating it with a face on him, like who the f- <laughs> you, give me this fucking ice cream here. Fuck. And then he and then he finished ice cream, and then he got up and does the usual, like tries to get people out of their seat. Like oh, he walks yeah. around and goes like goes under you, so he's like. Get up. We're fucking playing. But that was... And then and then I said to her, I was like... Uh, she, I was like, sure, I wouldn't be like, Niall, to just not mention the fact that like, you might be here. And he goes, oh, he's, a wee, he's a wee shite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that uh, was great times. Free ice cream. Up a hoods. Oh. Um, what about that ice cream? That strawberry ice cream with the real strawberries in it? Oh, really? Squirt. Wee tubs. Oh yeah, fucking! Hell, I know what it was. Damn, damn girl. Um, but yeah, Murloc, two dog fights. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah. and a uh, couple of lifeguards there, who, if I had been drowning, would have been in trouble. It was like three fifteen-year-old girls. The Mahals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking right. <laughs> Did they used to do that job? Yeah, that's how I met them, because I used to work in that cafe. And then you nearly drowned one day, and they were like, yeah. get him. <laughs> Let's go, girls. <laughs> dare, 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 dare. Worst. But, uh, yeah, I feel like they would just be, like, sprinting into the sea for anything. Yeah. Is that a person drowning? Slow motion music. <laughs> and then splash, and then they, it's just a crisp packet. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh no, a deep fucking old condom floating. Ah, <laughs> uh, some spot though. I think Murlocs, uh blue flag beach. Yeah, which means it's very clean. Yeah, but then Newcastle is like fucking toxic. <laughs> uh, yeah, like it's not the same water washing around the side. The yeah, fuck? how does that work? Yeah, you can always tell the fancy beach when there's like. You know, like an actual sort of coast or lifeguardy hut. Yeah. Because everywhere else they're like, let them drown here. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? And then they're, you know, some places are like a bit picturesque, and they're like, sure, we couldn't. Uh, she couldn't. Uh, couldn't have anyone die here. It's too nice. And then you go to the like the the other end, like the top of it, and it's like fucking do not step over this, or you'll get shot because there's a fucking army camp. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your day out, you know, <laughs> fucking just stay behind that fucking line. It's or, metal. Or you will get shot. Um, <laughs> S-H-A-T, shot dead. <laughs> good uh, fun. Good fun. Uh, but yeah, what a day. It was just, it was a good day. Um, Did you do anything else in Newcastle? <sighs> nah, we didn't no. We didn't go into Newcastle, really. Thank fuck. What else, what else is there to do? Fuck all. Fuck all. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Eating ice cream, fucking go home. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's like anywhere like that. You know, the actual main street. Oh, no. Could take or leave it. Yeah, not on you know, Like Port Rush. I'm like, I'm not going to the... F- I'm going to do walking down here. Um, But yeah, we had a, it was a lovely day. It was lovely. Um, That's that's life. That's life at the minute. Day off, you're like, right, well, can't sit in the fucking house with this child. Yeah. Got to take him somewhere. Hopefully picking up my bike today that I left in to get a bit of a once over as well. So I'll be taking this motherfucker on cycles. The guy just falling asleep at the front of the bike. <laughs> Me sweating all over the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking knackered. Fuck's sake. 
Anyway, uh, what else happened major in the muse? In the muse? Uh, shout out to Matt Hancock for just going with the first girl he's ever went with. <laughs> oh, yeah. That video, fuck me, I nearly pushed my dick back into my body. <laughs> oh. Player. Can a man not cheat on his wife in private? Fuck me, like, and I mean, just, I don't know what I think. I mean, people were cracking up for various reasons. Number one, he's cheating on his wife. What a piece of shit. Which kind of, in a way, is nobody's business. Uh, you know, what's the girl, what's the woman called? Gina Carano? Gina Calagnolo? Um... Oh, dear God. I mean, she's done her. Well, I don't know. He's done well for himself. since he's a fucking nerd there. Um, Let me see who's that. Oh, bro. Bro, what are you playing at? But, uh, yeah, it looked like he'd never just fucking kissed any females ever. Kevin and Perry. <laughs> um, squeezing her, squeezing her arse there and stuff. Um great times but yeah you know there's a on many levels it's like bro don't be like cheating on your wife number two you know the whole social distancing thing when you're not <laughs> supposed to be fucking going there anybody and he's like tonguing strangers and then you're like and then also have you nothing else to do you know what i mean guy global pandemic bit of work to be done here nah kissing chicks how do you find time for that? Always time. And you know, <laughs> here's the here's the reality of that. If that was me, you know, I'd be like, I'd be bonered out, man. I couldn't be like sneakily kissing, you know, having a sneaky affair in my shiny silver suit, you know, do a bit of fucking feeling that pancake ass, and I'd just be like, well, I've got a fucking fat root down my shiny suit pants now. <laughs> You know? <laughs> <laughs> Great rhyme. What'd I say? Fat root down my shiny, down my shiny suit. suit. <laughs> hey, man's got bars over here. <laughs> you know, can you just be like... <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Just out of stinking coffee breath from sitting in, <laughs> sitting in a meeting all morning. <laughs> Feel you, bum. Uh -oh. yeah, I'd just be like, my hair has got to do something with this. You know what I mean? Fucking socially distanced. <laughs> About three inches away. <sighs> anyway, it's all sorts of fucked up. Like, But obviously, I wonder what when that, when that actually was. Health minister. Fucking healthy boners. Uh, I wonder when that was. Was that obviously from a time that like, you know, it was like the height of the pandemic when you shouldn't have been doing anything. I don't know. I mean, if he had the decency to wait a few months till he cheated on his wife. When the ban was lifted a wee bit. <laughs> no kissing. Uh, but the son have put their name all over that photo as if they're like, you know, proud it's, of it. Yeah, the CCTV fucking... <laughs> we got the scoop. I mean, I wonder, I wonder, is it like fucking Black Mirror? You know, you could fake that. You could just get some cunt that looks like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. To just fucking kiss. Him. I, that's what I would say. I would go, like, the way to handle it now is go full Trump and just be, like, so, <laughs> like, you just deny everything. Uh, even And it confuses people because it's so blatant. Come out, oh, you're the health minister and fucking you've been kissing chicks. And he's like, that's a fucking, that's a fake, bro. You can't fake a bit of shitty CCTV footage. Are you joking? I don't have time to be kissing chicks. <laughs> you know? I'm out here ministering my health. Um, but yeah, the internet went wild, man. And uh, the best meme I saw was when they when they mixed the sound from the partridge thing. He's like, do you like me doing that? Would you like me to maintain the, the rhythm or oh, something? Yeah. Do you reckon it's just, you know, working in proximity with someone um, that much? I wonder would it just get really, like, I've got a meeting at 10 and I'm oh, fucking busy and I'll have a coffee here and if you could just pull me off before 12, that'd be great. You know? <laughs> will, you, will you fuck up, dude? You know? 
just strictly business. <laughs> don't know. Just speculating. Uh, resigns amid scandal over that's his wife, is it? I'm just amazed this dude. This dude must be a fucking slick operator, like you know. They must have. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember he did the fake? I'm gonna have to look that up. Remember he did the cry about no. something? Did he? Matt Hancock crying. Do, 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 do. What an absolute person. Just simple words there, reacting it. You're quite emotional about that. Well, it's just, uh, it's been, you know, it's been such a tough year for so many people, and there's William Shakespeare putting it. So simply for everybody that, you know, we can get on with our lives and, and you know, there's still a... Who was talking to Shakespeare? Is that what he said? I've still got this worry that we can't blow it now, Piers. We've still got to get the vaccine to millions of people and so we've got to keep sticking by the rules. But it's just, you know, there's so much... We've still got to... I, they're, they're, it's just, it's... Any of these cunts that speak, you're just like, I can smell the horse shit off whatever you're saying. You know, it's like, it's just the way my fucking blood. You know, like a fucking bad drama student. I'm acting and it's totally natural. I want to see someone, like, have some actual emotion. That's why people like fucking, what's his name, Bernie Sanders? He turns up with fucking mustard on his tie and he's like, right, fucking, rah. you know. You want to see a bit of that? You want to see some guy be like, fucking, someday, the day, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just like fucking wrecked. This guy's doing the, the fake cry. To, what a fucking... Just simple words there, reacting it. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, very rarely, especially men, you know what I mean? Like, girls can do that where they're just standing perfectly straight and just tears are streaming down their face. I feel like guys, when they, you know, because they're so fucking suppressed, by the time they get to that stage, you're like, <laughs> and, then, and then the tears come, you know, it's not just like tears straight away. But Jesus Christ, my cock. Oh. Signed. Can we get signed? Guys, do we have signed? Martha, the wife. Oh, wait a second. The wife of El Secretary Matt Hancock. That's her. I mean, leave her alone for fuck's sake. Couple's family home in London. Her husband faces calls to resign after being accused. <laughs> I mean. Great video, all the same. Uh, Audio descriptions. <laughs> anyway, fuck it. I mean, you know, no surprise when you're a fucking piece of shit snake that you do piece of sh piece of shit snake things. Yeah. You know. Anyway, fuck that guy. Uh, great times. Right, we'll do. <laughs> we'll move on to some questions in a minute. Have you been watching anything interesting this week? Me? Or have you not had time? Flat out, flat uh, on I literally haven't watched that. We watched that <laughs> murder at the cottage, murder in the village or something. What's oh, it yes. Called? That Cork West, thing. West Cork thing. Um, And then we're, we're about three episodes into the five or six or whatever it is. And I, because I know that it's unsolved, I've run out of stamina. Because they're just, it feels like they're making... They're making yes. excuses for, you know, they're like, who could it be? And you're like, well, I know it's none of them. Yeah. According to the cops. What what always blows me away with these murder documentaries is DNA testing was invented three weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Like, if you think it's because it's in all the movies and stuff. You know, when you watch CSI and they're like, he obviously came on the roof. <laughs> Let's get DNA because he's spunked all over the roof. Um, <laughs> but they, they, beyond, like, a certain year, they're just like, oh, well, Jesus, I don't know. They, there's, they bashed their head in here with a fucking breeze block. And you're like, and there's no day in it. No, it rained. <laughs> we can't because of the texture of the brick. We can't get any fingerprints off it. Nightmare, like. So I don't know what happened, but just this French girl who moved there just got brutally murdered with a brick in 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 a wee lane up their house one day, and no one really knows what the crack is. Essentially, is that documentary? Nice. And it's just some place where like there's about three people who live there, and everybody else that they call a blow in. Just has obviously travelled through Ireland with a bit of money and then they're like, hey man, I like it here, dude. Stay here and drink the Guinness. <laughs> and then they live there and everyone's got a fucked up accent. 
Do they interview the <coughs> the guy they think that did it? Yeah, who is fucking bananas. Ian Bailey. Is that what his name is? Crazy fucking, you know, like, re- real sort of eccentric weirdo. Anyway, and, you know, he's all into poetry, and, you know, he, once he's, this is years later, where he's just walking around his house, and he's got a fucking bongo thing, and he's just like... Oh, like a steel pan thing? No, it's more like just a wee drum, but he's like, right. fear in my heart. You know, like, <laughs> doing that stupid fucking, like, poetry that makes you want to fucking wring your dick out? Yeah. My Works. soul was destroyed. I was trapped in a fucking cage of despair, and Jesus, you know, like, fuck me. <laughs> A fucking that make me bash my own head in with a fucking brick. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she died. Your man fucking cornered her and was just like fucking despair, darkness. <laughs> she just fucking <laughs> just crushed her own skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anger brewing. Fucking who do you think you are? Like Jim Morrison or something? Hilarious. So embarrassing, bro. Just, just don't understand the art, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking thank Christ. <laughs> thank fuck. Do you know what good poetry's called? Songs. I turned that off. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Do you know what good poetry's called? Albums with songs in them. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was fucking, it was hard to watch. That was harder to watch than, you know, the fucking pool of blood on the floor. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, all I could think the whole time was, "Fuck it, is a nice spot. You could live there, no sweat." I haven't been to Cork in, uh, since I was like a child. I've never been ever. Um, and I'm like, do you know what I would love to do? If anyone has seen a video or they've done it themselves or they've they know of a good route around Ireland, yeah, yes. If they know, if they've done it before and they're like, right, this is what, because I'm lazy, but they've just went, we started here and just dotted ourselves around the place. Uh, tell me about it, man. You know, let me know where you where you went. There's a Facebook group called Wild Atlantic Way and there's like loads of people asking stuff like this. Yeah. And everyone just fucking kicks off. They're like, you need fucking two months to do it properly and all this. Oh, yeah. And they're like, can you do it in like a week? <laughs> like, no, never. Can't even see all of Donegal in a week. That, that's probably true. <laughs> it is true, but at the same time, you definitely could just take a wee. You could rip week. it around. Yeah. Like, you know, what I would like to do is, if I could afford the time, is. Well, of course I could. Like, I could fucking do a podcast on the move. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing I need to do regularly, anyway. Yeah. But, like, if you could go to a place. Stay that night, stay the next night, and then the next day go. Sort of two two nights in each place. And the places weren't further than maybe like two, three hours apart. Yeah. Because we have a baby, you know, we could get round in that sort of way. Definitely. Um. Yeah. And I suppose there's places like another class, but, you know, we do go to the North Coast quite a bit. So, you know, it's like you could miss out a bit. Yeah. And just come home at a certain point. You know, you don't need to be like, let's go see the Glens of Antrim. <laughs> Stuff you've seen a, a, a bunch, like. Uh, seen a fair bit of, you know, fucking Donegal and stuff like that too. But, you know, I'm not going to go on the Facebook group. No, do not. No. You need 19 years <laughs> to go from fucking go out of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I can't wait till there's more gigs in Galway and we get to go down there and make a wee video and get pissed yeah make a tour vid uh, yes. so yeah that's what I've been watching this week and then there's a great little porno that's went up on Now TV called Gillian Maxwell in the shadow of Epstein or something oh right so uh, I'm gonna fucking get stuck into that tonight cock in hand <laughs> Oh, yeah. Class. Right, we'll hit some fucking questions here. Glenn Maxwell, what a fucking... Jizzling. Jizzling. Um, <laughs> I just... I, what a fucking... What a, what a scenario she's got going on there. Because you're right. You're, well, I'll find out when I watch this, but you're... Is it like... You see, you had women going like, I can't believe that this... This woman would be... 
damaging like her you know people of the same sex you know you're you're destroying women for the pleasure of men by like delivering them to fucking pedophiles yeah i don't think it's about that i think it's about them fat checks <laughs> fat checks <laughs> fat checks uh the cheese getting yeah she must have been getting paid well i mean see when you get those families where like the da's fucking you know this fucking multi-billionaire anyway and he's like yeah uh, he's you know strings to fucking tied to like the what do you call it Mossad and all that shit mm -hmm. murky murky waters <laughs> murky <laughs> waters i was listening to tim Dillon or something he's like yeah see when you're grew up in that sort of spy you know lizards th that sort of fucking elite world he's just like this is how it ends sometimes when you have a lot of secrets and a lot of money and you fucked a lot of people over he's like yeah sometimes it does just end where you know you die with a load of secrets in a prison cell yeah and then sh and then your man joel mcafee he just got bumped off recently too yeah even though he was like if i if i kill myself i didn't kill myself yeah i need to look into and that and then he's just fucking dead in a cell and his wife was on there and she's like he would never he wouldn't kill himself like it's not it's the ultimate fucking deception i'll not kill myself does kill himself <laughs> i'd hate to be you know like one of those guys in prison where they're just like they don't like you and they just find something that they didn't like just to fucking get you off the streets basically oh you're doing some sort of tax evading get in prison for 30 years you fucking piece of shit yeah bizarre all because he created a fucking uh Antivirus. <laughs> what was it? Fucking firewall. Um, right, let's get into these questions, will we? I just, see what I just completely fucking made up a whole pile of bollocks there. Um, how fucking good are Fontaine's DC? They're great. V good. I'm a huge fan. Uh, I think they're a special, special band. Uh, you know. Um, when are you gigging again in the wonderful town of Newry? No. <laughs> um fucking the third of fucking never <laughs> uh i don't know i have no plans as as of right now um i know there's a couple of boys are going down there to is it the bank or something to do gigs but i just i don't know i don't know um who have you got from mcgregor poirier fee who have you got now what are you uh... fuck up to uh, not McGregor. I think, or it it'll be like a, you know, it won't be a knockout. No, I don't think. So. I think but it could be McGregor. I think uh, <laughs> what might happen is what he did with uh, Diaz. Yeah, where it was like he he fought him. Smart. He found how to fucking avoid the danger in the second one, and sort of scraped through with a win. Yeah, I think that'll happen. So he might, like... You see, he's throwing out all sorts of wee fucking bits of bait. He said something like, first one to t take a shot is a fucking pussy or something. As in, like, a wrestler. You know, like, first one to shoot. All right. First one to go for a takedown instead of standing up and fighting. And you're going, Connor, that's what got you in this fucking mess. You kicked your leg off. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he might, he might just... I mean, there, there was a lot of fight breakdowns where people were like, oh, the movement changed with McGregor. Like, he didn't move as light on his feet. He was a lot more static and throwing bigger punches and stuff. So that's when he was really dangerous, when he was lighter and he was on his toes, like he was doing karate, and he would fucking bounce in and out, and people would lunge for him, and he, just, boom, he was just ready to fucking knock them out. But that was at a, at a lighter weight, and then he just thought that he would be healthier fighting guys that were heavier, and then... Sometimes you'd notice the weight and power difference, like, so. I don't know. But he might just turn it into, like, a bit of a point score match or something. But also, he never learns, you know. He, he always does come out swinging, like. Because sometimes it ends wonderfully for him. Yeah. Sometimes he connects and just fucking puts someone in a coma. But I'm trying to think last time that happened. We well, beat the fuck out of Cowboy, but, like, I don't know. Um... I don't know. I'm just... 
I just actually like to see McGregor fighting because there's so much other hype and other shit, and he's he's also like a global superstar, so there's all this other fame shit going on, and a lot of fuck, you know, oh, there's an there's a beef going on on Twitter between this guy and the, and you're like, just I actually just want to see the fights, <laughs> you know, just just fucking give me the fights now. In fact, you know, I know he can get whatever he wants because he asked for it, like he's getting this Poirier three. I don't, I don't give a shit about that. I'd rather see him fight someone else. I don't need to see that again. That's that. That's like a. That's like a pride thing. Nearly, he's like, let me fucking get him back. Yeah. Instead, he, of, instead of just going, oh, fought him at a. I think he fought him at a higher weight and fought a guy who's who hasn't took a foot off the pedal in years, and then he was in and out of the fight game, boxing and doing whatever, and the guy beat him. He just needs to fight more. Yeah, that's it. And I'm only interested in seeing the fights, to be honest. Um, and also, hopefully, they do it somewhere like Dubai, where we can watch it at, in at regular time of day, instead of fucking six in the morning. Eat my tea. Your name is Tony. We are called Predator Exposure. Uh, I've heard of you. We are called Predator Exposure, yeah. and we're just exposing your ass. All right. You're gonna meet the girl. You're gonna take her to the mall. Yeah. In the car. Why are you here today to meet a 13 year, a 14 year old child? I'm not. Do you want me to read your chat log out? What? You should know because it's you with a virgin pussy and it's good that you don't know what to do. <coughs> I'm gonna fuck you. So she what? put. We, she put you think you put yeah, do further grab your ass. <coughs> You're lying out your ass. Have you got hair downstairs and tits? This is oh, a child you're speaking to, because you're a fucking dirt bastard, that's why. You put yeah. the smaller, the better. Can you remember no. saying that? You no. can't. You is a fucking liar. No, I'm not. Yeah, um, yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Um, yeah, you are. Telling a 13 year old you're going to bend her over. Why are you going to bend her over? I said, no, I'm bending uh, over. Why? We've got it all why here on your phone. Bend people over? Don't you? No. I can imagine why. <laughs> Anyway, just a quick video of my dad that someone sent in. <laughs> I love that. I love, you know, that they've pulled this guy up and they're like, you're out here, fuck it. You, you said you were going to meet a 13-year-old or have sex with her. You said you were going to bend her over. And the guy goes, I don't bend people over. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, besides the point, you know. I don't fucking have sex like that. What I have said, you don't even, you haven't been watching properly. That's not the type of sex I have. <laughs> eh? Because of that. Yeah. 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 Because you're a dirty, filthy paedophile. Yeah. How do you like to be fucked? I don't know. Like, no, that's, that's what, what you, you said to us. Don't try, and, don't try making out of this way, you said. Ah, uh, they thought they were asking him. Oh dear. How'd you like to be fucked? I don't know. <laughs> Up fast. <laughs> Anyway, that's brutal as fuck. Who sent me that look? Cheers for that, man. What are you doing with your spare time? Um, watching reruns of Glastonbury and enjoying some tunes made me think, which musical era would you have liked to have grown up in? Oh, great question. I'll go ahead. You're a music guy. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, nice, fine. Yeah, nice, fine. <laughs> nice, fine. Uh, yeah, because you've still got everything that already Although I would have liked to have seen happened. like all the cool bands, you know? Yeah. But, but I, like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been. No, I suppose. But yeah. things always seem more glamorous in hindsight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I bet you if you were at fucking Woodstock, wading through the fucking mud and chlamydia. Yeah. It probably wasn't that amazing at the time unless you were fully off your box. No, I know. It would have, like, fucking Glastonbury is pretty sweet, I can imagine. Yeah. Never I've been in Glastonbury. It was, yeah, it was great. But, like, you know, people in, in 20 years look back at Glastonbury and be like, holy fuck, look at all the bands that played there. I mean, it doesn't. They were showing highlights there, and like, just jumping back ten years, yeah, you're like, "Fuck me, man!" Yeah, even oxygen lineups. You're like, "Oh yeah, what they were the nuts." Fuck, <laughs> you're, you're like, punk you know, it's like nine o'clock. Yeah, you're like, "Do I go see Rage Against the Machine, Daft Punk, Queens of Stone Age, Muse, or someone else?" And they're all playing at the same time. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck Mental. happened here? Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's funny because you you could be at a gig that they could then look back on and be like, oh, that was like a gr insane. Like they were talking about Radiohead in 1997, which apparently was like a great Glastonbury performance. Nice. And that's when I asked you, like, do you listen do you listen to Radiohead? And you're like, yeah, bro, got tattoo. <laughs> um, and then I was trying to get into them because of 
I just never re- I, 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 nothing jumped out at me. Did you listen to? I listened to. I I ended up just doing one of those like, what was it? it was, you know, on Apple Music, just like a fucking bit. this. This is. Or like oh, yeah. essential Radiohead or something. Cool. Um, yeah, so I did, I did listen to a few, yeah. They're a real muso band, you know? Yeah. Real nerdy music people. Yeah. Um, it obviously means I'm not a big music nerd. No. They're, uh, they're, I think they're class. I only got into them, like, when I was at uni. Yeah. Before I was like, oh, they're fucking too depressing or whatever. It's not even that. It's just like, <laughs> you know, fucking. It's just not the t- necessarily the t- the sound that I like. You know, like. Yeah. You know, it's like I always listen to some things. I'm like, where does it fit into my day? Yeah. There's you know, some. Uh, there is some nice crunchy tunes. Yeah. Let's slip in there. I love that bit. Remember in Father Ted. And he's on the bus <laughs> and the radio head starts playing. No, it's fucking well, I haven't seen it. Uh, it's Father Ted, it's the uh, exit music. It's so funny. What is it? What's that top thing? Oh, yeah, this is it. Yeah, <laughs> so Tommy Turner, so it is. Father, do you mind if I turn on the radio? No, I don't. Put it on. With the new single, here's Radiohead. <laughs> For me asleep. You dry your tears today. We escape. We escape. <laughs> Tommy Tiernan, funny. Uh, so genius. <laughs> Father Ted's just fucking so funny. Radiohead. <laughs> there was a start of uh, what the f- I'm gonna have to look it up now. This is fucking great listening, guys. Great stuff. <laughs> Colin looks up songs that he can't legally play. Radio Loaf, right? Um, there was... It just... I mean, there's just some... You know, it's like... See all the albums, right? Let's go for fuck's sake. Was it the start of that? No. Kid A. Yeah, that one. Tune. Tune? Tune. Love it. But like great pieces of music yeah. that I am thinking like would be classed with like video attached to it. Yeah. I'm not sticking that on like fucking yeah, bro. The the national anthem is a good one. Big thick bass. Do it a thick bass. Have to play it over here because we got sued. <laughs> oh yeah. Thick boy. Bit of Oh, Try to hold that in there, died. Yeah, we'll keep all that in and get sued. Uh, <laughs> there we go, Radiohead. Thanks, Tom. Two out of ten. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how are you getting on with the weight loss? Bad. No, I'll be honest, I'm fucking terrible. Terrible, because all I was thinking about was going to this movement guy and getting my fucking back sorted, and it's about 70% better giving me no jip so we're going to have another week of like rehabby type stuff and then we start lifting again and i think i think uh i'm really gonna ramp it up a bit niles on the wraps and the bananas yep i'm on the fucking i got a it's like a salad with like wild rice and a salmon and all this shit so you know what i mean the, the deck v's are coming in um so yeah but i did i did I mean, I was getting way out of hand there for a minute, and it did come down about two or three kilos in a couple of weeks. So if I could just do that again fucking six times. <laughs> Be flying. Oh, what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> uh, did you... S- 
Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, eating a lot less cows. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing with being such a large fat bastard is a lot less cows for me literally means probably just three normal meals. Yeah. You know, you can fucking get away with that. Or two, like, if I eat properly, twice would do me. Um, did you see this about your one? All right, let me just quickly grab this. Uh, can't wait to listen to more fucking Radiohead when I get in the <laughs> car, man. Uh, is your man... full bit of uh, copy and pasting here. I can't. I fucking... <laughs> it's so... I hate that. I hate when it's... Anyway, we're done with the nonce videos. Looking out a sign... And down goes Tony Martin. Oh yeah, I've seen oh, this. Tony yeah, what a cock! This, you know, and, and I, I don't know what I think of this yet. I'm at the I think he's getting sued or something. The, 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 road, the but, guy? Yeah, yeah. Tony it's Martin, fucking retarded. Like, it's so when stupid. It's retarded. Are that nervous. You're smacked in there like like sardines, and there's nowhere to go. So if you're sitting anywhere behind Tony Martin, be to his left, he, uh, most likely you're going to go down. You really don't have a chance. Road is super What's he doing? <laughs> and then he hits, you know, there's like the spectators, the like some old boy types. Down. So the guys from the back, along with the ditch on the right and left side of the road, there's Jesus no place to go. You Christ, just have to man. go right into the pile. You're either going to be held up or worse, you're going to crash. And the bikes and parts are going to be breaking all over the place. Oh that's my God, I was fucking snapped off. Yeah, that's <laughs> brutal. Like, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's fucking hectic. Like, stupid cunt. <laughs> yeah, just what are we wanker? Like, also, that's the, the annoying part about that. It was that's Tour de France, was it? Yeah, that actually started. Yeah, it's like you're battling against regular people being allowed to just line the roads. I know. Um, <laughs> the hat just fell off. Uh, right. But yeah, yeah, he, the guy should be fucking like fined or something. That's I know. He cocked like he's ruining it for everyone. I mean, like, <laughs> how many people would have he, would he have hurt there? You know, like. Yeah, yeah, not like injured and they had to be carried off, but like you'd be getting up going, My leg fucking took all the skin off the side of my leg, you stupid cunt. Yeah, they should have beat the shit out of him. I know, but that's that's the problem <laughs> with this fucking you know, internet like clout yeah, shit going on. Like, oh, you're the guy that did that, that's fucking hilarious. And you're like, no, fuck off, you be dick. Also, okay. I didn't know a piece of cardboard would ca <laughs> cause you to fall off a bike at 30 mile an hour. I don't know. But they all should have just jumped off and just started laying the fucking uh, wee boots in them. <laughs> <laughs> wee clicky boots. Uh, craziest muscle man moments in sport. All right, get your dicks out, guys. Uh, okay, it's not blue. Cool. All right, let's rip through some <laughs> questions here. Um, what's your thoughts on Matt, ha Matt Hancock and him being a sexy bastard with all his hoes? Like, I'm amazed. I'm, I'm always amazed when like such douchers are pulling so many women. Yeah. But he's obviously a fucking... Player. Just a filthy snake who's great at lying and bullshitting and twisting. He's a politician. You know what I mean? Mm. Fuck's sake, like... Um, thoughts on people who don't leave their trolleys back at Asda? Whatever. Yeah. I don't mind I don't mind you not <laughs> leaving it back, but don't leave it like just a you know, just like abandoned in a space, in a car parking space. Yeah. If you put put it up on the curb or something, then you, cause you can't be arsed walking over. They do have staff going around picking them up, so like yeah. whatever, but just don't be a cock about it. Out of all the ice creams out there, what's your preferential choice on a beautiful fourteen degree summer day? <laughs> you a big Solero man or more of a white magnum advocate? Hmm. <laughs> Well, ice, is it ice cream or shop bought lolly you were talking here? I don't know. No, I don't. I, I like icy lollies, you know, like fruity ice ones. I don't like Solero's creamy and icy. Get fucked. <laughs> the Magnum is like, you know, all, all kind of ice creamy. But I like a fruity, like like William Thompson at that gig the other day, bought a load of Calippos. Yes. And I felt like a child. It's great. Yeah. I like things like that. Um... He left out Rory. I think he just miscounted. And Woodsy, <laughs> Woodsy was like, Woodsy was like, oh, sir, I'm all right. I haven't had my breakfast because I was, I was getting the ride. And I <laughs> fucking died. Died, just the way he said it. Oh, no, sir. I was like, you having a drink? And he was, no, sir, I'm all right. I'm fucking, I haven't eaten anything yet. 
was going, and he was like, I was going to, but I was uh, uh, getting a ride, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I near burst. In fairness, R- Woodsy has said, like, some of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life, <laughs> where I've, like, almost erupted laughing. The time, that time when he uh, said about be- being on honeymoon in Barcelona or something and watching the Spanish version of Big Bang Theory, and he goes, because God forbid she'd rim me. I had to leave the room, like, I had to leave the room in, in Lavery's. Because it was just such a, you know, like, being on honeymoon and you're so bored you're watching fucking a Spanish version of Big Bang Theory. Oh, man. I embarrassed. It was, I laughed that hard. Everybody was just looking at me. And I had to, like, leave the back of the building. I was like, I'm out. It's all right. Uh, so funny. Like, who would be your ultimate podcast guest? Uh, I don't know. I always get asked that, and I'm like, I don't know, because I don't really think about the fucking the guests. Uh, I mean, obviously, you would say some, you know, like fucking Bill Burr or something. Yeah, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. <laughs> and you have to explain to him who you are. And you, you fighter. Yeah, you could be the most famous person ever. And who are you? <laughs> yeah, we're here with the guy Alan Musk. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> oh really? You fight? Uh, oh fuck! I'll come back to that. Adrian Dallas. Dude's got a fucking movie fake name. Yeah, doesn't he? It's Detective Adrian Dallas. <laughs> Where do you see? Uh, he's, he's a PT. Um, online coach. Where do you see? And where do you want your business to be in three years' time? Solely podcasting, headlining all over the world. Just curious, as I'm currently mapping out my three-year vision for business. Uh, I have realized recently that it's very difficult to fucking straddle the two. I fully see why people get business managers and stuff like that, because... And for, don't get me wrong, for so long I was trying to really fucking make a living even doing comedy but sometimes you can go too far down that that road with like the creative things then you forget to do like the creative thing which is the reason you're there and I've sort of ran into that twice where I've been like trying to push gigs so much and trying to sell tickets and trying to get work doing fucking videos for other people and all this shit and I was chasing it so much that it was like oh I actually haven't done anything for myself in that long and that's why people aren't going to gigs and people aren't doing whatever so it's a hard one to juggle but see to be honest at the minute uh you know things are things are sort of looking up and to be honest like i wouldn't do anything much different hopefully in three years time other than everything is a bit more streamlined and we can do bigger things. That's all. That's all I'm looking to do. So, if you think about like whenever I started doing comedy, I was doing. I was starting stand up. I started a podcast shortly after that, and then nothing changed for fucking ten years. So like, all all that has changed is we're still podcasting. It, the production level is obviously going way beyond what it ever was. The gigs have went from trying to scrape people into gigs to selling out doing bigger gigs doing a fucking arena you know going across the water to do these gigs that are sold out when you get there which is crazy so it's the same thing but just on a a bigger level and i would like to do the same in three years just be able to do bigger gigs travel around uh yeah bigger bigger podcast i mean the dream is always to be able to just do that anywhere just put nile in a fucking in a suitcase with a Zoom recorder and just fucking arrive somewhere and record podcasts. And it, to be honest, it's it's entirely possible, apart from there was a pandemic. Like, that's kind of the way things were headed. Uh, th- you know, there was talk of American tours and fucking Australian tours and stuff. So it's, it's all the same thing. It's all stand-up and podcasts, but just on a bigger, bigger level. Um, so there you have it. 
I mean, there's definitely things that I do that have massive potential that I don't really push to their fullest extent. The merch, for example. The fact that, I, you know, I've put hats on sale or something, they all sell out, and then people from that industry are like, man, that's quite a lot of fucking numbers to be do to be selling, even for, like, well-known brands. And I was like, well, fuck, I don't know. Ha you know, if I thought about it a bit more and put a bit more effort into it, it probably could be doing very well. But at the minute, I'm just like, that's a cool t-shirt. And then give 17 of them out to my close friends. <laughs> and then fucking make no money on them. Uh, so there you go. What's your three-year plan, Adrian? What are we talking? Listen to the latest podcast on the glider and had to take my earphones out to watch the absolute scenes that come hand in hand with the night bus in Belfast. Most countries seem to have an unwritten rule about not talking to each other on public transport. What is it about people here that convinces them that that an unsupervised purple bendy bus is an appropriate substitute for a stage? I'm starting to think the Brits are putting drugs in our water for the bants. Uh, try driving a late... Late night bus, plenty of banter there. <laughs> An unbelievable task. Thank you for your service. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've, I've had a few late buses home from places in my, in my lifetime, and they were a fucking disaster. There's a sadness in a late bus. Yeah. You know, you head somewhere, you're full of fucking carryouts and whatever, and you're having a great time. There's a bit of buzz going on. And then they're always very well lit, you know, on the not like lit, dude. But just actual light. Oh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> and then, like on the way home, you just see the sadness of people's field nights out. Sad. Have you seen Chad Hanks' song? Yes, every day on my iTunes. Uh, <laughs> not keeping that busted makes you feel good reference. Mm, take the piss out of somebody. Oh, hold on, we're going to skip through some of some of these questions we've covered before. Any danger of getting a wee tour of the studio? Don't ask. You don't get. It's it's not that exciting. Uh, do you know what I mean? Unless you were doing like yeah. a real tech breakdown, which you would have to do, which I would be giving away all the secrets to appeal to about three people. Yeah, who maybe. just need to know. Yeah, for the <laughs> I just man, I'm tr I don't do a podcast, but I need to know. Yeah, uh, and here's the thing: people get really bogged down in gear, don't they? And people, it's like a real fucking. Let me let you know how much I fucking know about this. I don't give a fuck about gear. I'm like, do you mean like, is it good? Does it work? Good. Barely. That's a, that, that's <laughs> fucking barely. Yeah. <laughs> do we have to back every camera up with another hard drive because they're fucking gonna lose them all the time? Yes. Shout out Black Magic. Shout out Black Magic. Yeah. Send us some free kit. There be there's no room for. It. Yeah. The, the the tour would basically be this is where I sit. Here's some cameras. Nile sits over there. You know, we microwave our lunch in there. And then the merch is down here. Like, it's fucking not that exciting, really, to be honest. Mm. Although there was a few people come in for the, the gig that we did in here. And they walked in and they were like, Oh my God, can I touch it? No. <laughs> I was like, touch it and then I'll show you the office. <laughs> Talking about my cock. New weight loss tool prevents mouth from opening more than two millimeters. I've seen that. Hey, get your fucking... Uh, jaw wired and you'll not be able to eat there's truth in that maureen's sister there got braces in she's like i just can't eat mm. and everything i eat has to be soft and beige another cock joke there but uh, <laughs> yeah she's just like you just can't be ours you can't be ours eating because then you have to fucking brush them and they hurt and all this shit and she's just like i just fucking just sit here and don't eat so there you go good timing <clears throat> good timing ahead of a wedding if you're trying to drop a few lbs um let me see. Hi, Colin. I'm living in New York. What are the chances you ever doing a gig here? Uh, there's an air Irish area in Yonkers uh, that could do a gig in. It would kill, man. Yeah, fucking, it's on the cards. Like, I'm looking to get out. Um, And then, you know, that's when we go over an aisle and you have to lie, going like, why have you got a bag full of kit? Are you here to work? And you're like, nah. Just oh, this yeah. fat asshole makes vlogs. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't work for a major production company. Just this ball bag over here. <laughs> He's like asleep in an airport. Um, oh, fun. Yeah. Uh, now, I'll play this clip. Oh my God, there's so many links. Yeah, I'm not clicking. I'm clicking the first one because I think I've seen this before, but... Uh, Hovis. 
Hovis Oates. He says, this sounds like something you'd say to the wife. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's time stamped it and everything. I'm getting tired on the yeah. face. Yeah. That guy's doing my fake Mexican voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this, look at the bend in this rod. <laughs> <laughs> but it has it is having an effect. It is having an effect. I'm trying to keep the rod fairly flat. <laughs> oh look at the bend in this rod. I don't have a bend in my rod. Three million views. My deck is straight. Almost boringly straight. Like a poker. Like a fucking poker. <laughs> just like a fucking just like someone has just let you know like when they before they bake a baguette? <laughs> just a laid out just fucking <laughs> boring old beige cock uh, 3 million heads man people love this fucking river monsters oh look at the bend in this rod man, people, <laughs> people love watching fishing before they go to sleep uh, will the SSE arena be a vaccination centre until September will your September shows be affected apparently not according to all of the uh, the uh, professionals uh, I remember your Ulster Scots thing a few years ago. Laughed so hard I tore my taint. Mm, danger. Jeez. Here's one on a similar <laughs> theme uh, that you can maybe get your teeth into. Have you ever heard a Newfoundland accent? Fucking mental. With uh, very obvious Irish links. This woman isn't participating. Oh, wait a second. It's a TikTok class. We'll try to. We'll try and get better at the copy and pasting over the weeks. Right, we've got to fucking end this podcast one of these days. So many more questions. Uh, write to Patreon and be like, embed links, please. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I lose it? Did I fucking lose it? Where's this bitch? Oh, my God. Come on, man. No, it's gone. Fuck TikTok. We're back. Gentle, sacred, heart of Jesus. Who got the heat on cremate? Bar the door, my son. We're not heating up the road. My Jesus, you're not going out like that, are you? Oh, my God. She looks like nobody owns you. Look at himself, look. Strolling in an hour late like he owns the place. I suppose you're hungry, are you, my duck? Let me get you something to eat. Gentle, sacred, heart of Jesus. Who got... Yeah, I mean, it just, it just, it sounds like any fucking Irish person who went to America and made millions. You ever see those videos where some guy's like, Yeah. I was going, I moved over here when I was like 19, now I fucking own all it. It's just that mashed up accent. Uh, also, it says that she's a comedian. Oh yeah, probably. Like, she's probably, she's probably just taking the piss there. But, I mean... Sure, look at like Letter Kenny. Yeah. You know, is that not, they kind of sound a bit like that? And is it not Canada? And it's actually called Letter Kenny? Yeah. Um, Nicely shot. Beautiful. <laughs> but I mean, these these Irish ones just fucking land anywhere. I mean, is there not like the, the where is it, like the Caribbean one? And someone's in there. You know, it's like a full black guy with dreads. And like, Jesus, boy, it's fucking warm today. <laughs> Sweat, man. Sounds like Hardy Bucks, but they're all they're all just black dudes. <laughs> uh, right here we go. Get get the foot down here, guys. If you had to go on Love Island, how do you think you would do? I mean, it would definitely be funny. I watched the fucking start of it last night, and I was and it, 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 here's the thing. They're all stinking. I was like, if you're gonna make a show about hot people coming in here, just just unashamedly. Is that a word? Just very deliberately pick them purely on their absolute hotness. Because some of them are scraped together, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, at 20 metres, you're like, oh, here, she's done all the tricks, you know? The fucking fake tits, blonde hair, big lips, da da And then you get real close in these, these ones, and you're like, gross. And the dudes, fucking nerds. Nerdsville. And then they make them do that sexy dance, which literally I would just fucking drown myself in the pool before, before that would happen. But anyway... Here's 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 the sketch we shoot today. Now I'll put the green screen up and put that music on that goes ding 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 ding. 
that stupid theme tune. And I'll pretend like I'm shooting the bit that they show before they introduce the character. <laughs> so they'll be like, next, he's 24 from blah de blah And the guy's going like... Oh, and they just, you know, there's a guy behind the camera going, just fucking move, do some stuff. And he's like... <laughs> mm. <laughs> and that's funny for like 20 seconds guys fixing his hair and fucking <laughs> doing all this shit and then it's like <sighs> you know just like too long where they're like ah <laughs> 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 uh, fucking bro I've run out of shit to do here man I've run out of shit to do. yeah keep moving fucking <laughs> 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 Have we got enough yet? Now nah, keep going. Ah, ah. <laughs> you know, like, it's so fucking cringy. Ah, these fucking wabs. Anyway. I can't watch it. Oh, well, I have no choice in my fucking house. I can't watch it. I'll be fucking... I'll see every episode. I'd and, rather cut my eyes out. Yeah, it'll just be like... <laughs> in, 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 my, in my house, it'll be... Uh, do I what, just watch this and give in to it? Or do I just sit in a room by myself till it's over? Yep, sit in the room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't know McCann was into his Irish country music. Well, I mean, his dad was literally the most famous country music DJ in Ireland. Boom. Shout out Pio. God rest him. Uh, <laughs> new single out now. Get the cards out, boys. Class. Belter. He Is actually, he actually kind of looks like if me and Aaron had a child. <laughs> Look up the But that music, my least favorite music on earth. Yeah. <laughs> fucking bloody blah. Yeah. Just fucking. I mean, fair play to the guy. I mean, the voice was not what I was expecting. Is that his song? Must be. Subscribed. He's got a new subscriber. Subscribed and the <laughs> hey bro, the uh, production and the timing. Brilliant. Shite. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. Ugh. Um, what's he's, your? He's definitely uh, sure you can just shit it on your iPhone type of person. I <laughs> uh, do ground here. Sure. Fucking, what's the difference? <laughs> oh. When are you moving the banger? I would. Banger's nice, man. Just never really spent many, much time in it, but uh, it's great. Um, great gig on Saturday though the last thing I remember is the mango beer still feeling rough today I'm sure me and the wife talked some shit after okay not much a question just uh, facts just facts um, that's our boy Glenn from Kenning Cycles that's him going to pick my bike up off today oh no way that's another thing uh, just before I go he says they run a race they cycle a race every once in a while or once a year or something he said it's September and he yeah. goes if you're looking to do something for vlog material he goes why don't you just enter it and I said watch your fucking be careful what you wish for you know what I mean 300 GoPros when I get these fucking these legs pumping <laughs> that's what I said to him get me in that velodrome I'll fucking smoke bitches I'm right <laughs> I'll rip a fuck I'll rip a handles off a assault bike no sweat does he sell bikes yeah. or does he just fix them well, I said he said like, I think he mainly fixes them. All right. He sells a few, you like, but he, that's not <laughs> John. Show me out. Uh, <laughs> let's get them. Let's go cycling. I want to get into it. I only have that stupid fucking huge penny cruiser. farthing. <laughs> He's got a penny farthing from when he worked in established. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much that cruiser. Yeah. What's that? The you sat on it one day, one of the first times I met you. It's this like huge cruiser, like American cruiser. Where the fuck was that? Uh, in my old place of work. <laughs> <laughs> Is it big fat tires and all? Yeah, big fat tires and like you cycle backwards to brake. Oh, like a like single gear type thing, or was it called? No, there's a few gears. There's three gears, but it's just like proper. Fucking. Oh yeah, nah, just get a nice <laughs> regular fucking bike and we'll go cycling. Uh, I'd be big into that. Um. 
Oh yeah, so yeah, I might do that race. Do it. It's like it's like a, how many miles? The fighter it? and the kid thing. I think you'd be surprised. As far as I know, it starts in like a velodrome thing and then goes out on the track. Oh nice! And they just and belt it around just the track. Laps. I think so. Like the F one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Box box. <laughs> Me on the sideline. Yeah. I would not be as calm as a Formula One driver through the headset, like. Yeah. Box box, you got to step with the right. The fucking thing's. Oh, <laughs> Christ! The fucking hole's red off me. Pull me in. I have that sandwich ready. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I open the visor. <laughs> <laughs> Just pushing a fucking meatball marinara in the fucking. Oh. Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Under two seconds. Yeah, I'm psychologing. I'm just like, I've pissed in the suit. And they're like, there is toilets. It doesn't matter. I can't give up any minutes. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, he's just taking his shade out of the back of his pants and like throwing <laughs> it over to the side. Colin, there's toilets right there. It's not. It's a charity race. You can stop whenever you want. No, <laughs> can't stop. <laughs> Some guy holds out a bit of fucking cardboard to try, and I kill him by accident. <laughs> My man was hit by a fucking explodes. Yeah, he's hit by a fucking. <laughs> looks like he hit by a, like a train. I thought it'd be good crack, but uh, I stood out in front of Gaddis there, and it was literally like being hit by a water buffalo. So <laughs> coming at me at thirty mile, as if I could do thirty mile on a bike. Uh, you probably could. I probably Them could. Man, I'm, gears. I'm, I'm powerful. Man. I'm powerful. I'm a powerful flying. guy for twelve seconds. Yeah. Ask my wife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also a cycler. <laughs> also a cyclist. Cycler. Cycler. <laughs> Name of the podcast? Cycler. Professional cycler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to write that down. Profe- it's either professional <laughs> professional cycler or... Uh, or uh, what What the fuck else do I say? Something root. What was it? Oh, earlier? Yeah, you're going to have to look that up again. Shiny root. In a- oh, no. It was... Uh, <laughs> big fat root. <laughs> Vanny. <laughs> what? <laughs> Vanny. <laughs> Yeah. Oh dear. Things you get bullied for when you're a kid. Saying Vanny instead of Fanny. Oh <laughs> uh, I'm professional cycler. Um <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here, guys. Get on the Patreon. We're gonna have a lot of shit coming in soon. Um Free watches. Free watch I mean I don't know what the crack is because our boy Nico there was like, give these watches away. There's ten of them. Bro, there's fucking three. <laughs> Is there three? That's all right. Or two. Uh, there might only be two. I have one. <laughs> there's two then. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, have one. But yeah, I might have to fucking get more of them and then I'll do some sort of little competition. Yeah, definitely. Um, We'll figure that out. I mean, it's 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 a Casio what is it? F19 something, but apparently it's just very significant in the digital watch world. You can get them for a tenner off for, Amazon. Very high. You know, <laughs> produced a lot of them, but, you know, around the world used for various things. And apparently they detonated bombs with them and stuff, so... Obama wore one as well. Well, that's apparently. what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, yes. Is that a wedding? Drone strike. <laughs> anyway, we'll get out of here. Get on the Patreon. Um, I'm going to put tickets up at four o'clock. And well, this podcast won't be up before four o'clock. We'll maybe put the audio up. Um... Tickets go on sale for the work in progress shows. I'll have some guests. It'll be very low key. It'll be fun. I might smoke on stage. I don't even smoke. Uh, so that'll be cool. Uh, get on the Patreon. There's a lot of stuff coming, including the SummerSlam series of seven. Po- Let's do seven because you could do one a day. One a day. Cool. For a week. And I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, take us right up to the 12 pods of Christmas. Lovely. Uh, but that's it. Cheers for coming out to all the gigs of late. Uh, I'm gigging in the Boneyard tomorrow night. And then we're back in... We're back in... Lavery's. Lavery's on Thursday. And then on the 4th, we're back in the fucking... Uh, in the limelight. Limers. Gigs McGee round here. Fuck's sake. Right, we're going to get out of here. See you later. What are you fuck up to? Nice.